Public discourse today often resembles a gladiatorial arena, where accusations and counter-accusations clash with little regard for nuance or understanding. Each incident of scandal or controversy quickly devolves into a battle of slander, innuendo, and one-sided narratives. This gladiatorial approach to public conversations about sensitive topics, particularly sex, power, privilege, and assault, perpetuates cycles of division and hinders meaningful progress. If we are to advance as a society, we must shift away from this combative model and use these incidents as opportunities to re-examine our collective assumptions about these deeply ingrained issues. The tendency for public discourse to devolve into attacks is not new. From the public trials of prominent figures in ancient Rome to the personal scandals of modern political figures, the dynamics of reputation and public shaming have always been tied to power. Figures like Socrates, Joan of Arc, and more recently, Anita Hill, have found themselves in the crosshairs of public debate, not necessarily because of what they represented, but because of the societal anxiety about shifting power dynamics. This gladiatorial nature of discourse, however, often results in the simplification of complex issues. Instead of engaging in thoughtful conversations about the intersection of sex, power, and privilege, society reduces these debates to battles of credibility and character assassination. This reductionist approach prevents a deeper understanding of the structural factors at play. Statistics reveal just how embedded power imbalances are in our society. For example, the World Economic Forum's 2022 Gender Gap Report shows that it will take 132 years to close the global gender gap in political and economic representation. Meanwhile, a 2020 study from the Center for American Progress highlighted that nearly half of women in the U.S. experience sexual harassment at some point in their careers. These numbers point to the prevalence of gender-based inequality, suggesting that issues of power, sex, and privilege are not isolated incidents but part of a larger system of imbalance. Yet, when public discourse centers on individual scandals rather than systemic problems, the broader conversation gets lost. Each new accusation is treated as an isolated event, allowing the structural dynamics that perpetuate inequality and exploitation to remain unchallenged. The current climate of public discourse taps into what social psychologists call moral outrage. According to a 2018 study in the Journal of Personality and Social Psychology, moral outrage serves to reinforce social cohesion within groups by rallying people against perceived wrongdoers. However, this same dynamic often leads to the demonization of the accused without a fair assessment of the facts or an examination of the larger systemic issues. The same study found that moral outrage is more likely to be triggered by emotional reasoning rather than data-driven thinking, which explains why scandals quickly become battlegrounds for emotional reactions. While moral outrage has its place in holding individuals accountable, it should not replace thoughtful dialogue about the societal structures that allow abuses of power to persist. It is common sense to acknowledge that not all accusations or scandals are clear-cut, and each requires careful consideration of context, evidence, and structural factors. We should not treat every incident as a battle for reputational survival but as a moment to ask deeper questions about the systems that enable exploitation and abuse. This means creating space for dialogue that looks beyond individual guilt or innocence and into the broader societal patterns that shape these issues. Instead of reducing public discourse to gladiatorial combat, we should use these moments as catalysts for rethinking our collective assumptions about sex, power, privilege, status, fame, and assault. We must recognize that the systems enabling abuse are complex and multifaceted, requiring more than just moral outrage to dismantle. By shifting the focus from personal battles to societal solutions, we can begin to address the root causes of inequality and exploitation, moving toward a more just and balanced society. Abandoning the gladiatorial nature of public discourse is not merely an intellectual exercise, it's a necessary step toward creating a more nuanced, understanding, and effective conversation around some of society's most pressing issues. By rethinking our approach to discussions on power and privilege, we can create the conditions for real progress, focusing not just on individual accusations but on the systemic changes that need to be made.